friends welcome to is american english we have come here to the video number 49 story number 49 children we are from we have grown from children to adults isn't it a child more than what you see say what you do it notices and it follows so the best way for teaching a child is through actions right what the parents are doing the child notices and it does the same thing of what their parents are doing a child notices what her teacher does and she imitates her teacher so whatever you teach a child it does the same thing so here is a philosophy a story it told it tells about how child children they imitate their parents how children they take the words of father and mother what they do they behave father is smoking the child's hero is father so the child starts smoking mother she keeps shouting and fighting with others the child sees it and it follows the same thing in her life father drinks alcohol the child does the same thing father works hard the child works hard a father studies hard and he improves in his life the child does the same for all the good qualities and bad qualities of what elders they do the children follow so you future parents you should be a role model for your children this is the story here and also respect our parents that's the most important thing which is told in the story here a frail frail means what a weak old man went to live with the son daughter in law and four year old grandson the old man's hands trembled hands are trembling and his eyesight was blurred and his uh, step faltered he is not able to walk properly right he wants to come and live with his son and daughter in law and grandson the family eat together nightly at the dinner table nightly means what every night they sit together and eat the dinner but the elderly grandfather shaky hands and failing sight made eating rather difficult he is not able to eat properly right because of his shaky hands peas rolled off his spoon you took you took that you know peas it started rolling because his hands are trembling uh, into the floor when he grasped the glass often milk spilled on the table cloth he took the milk it was uh, started you know shaking and he dropped the glass and it fell all over the son and daughter in law became irritated son became irritated the daughter in law became so much irritated with the mess we must do something about grandfather we must do something about the grandfather said the son i have had enough of his spilled milk lot of milk is spilled noisy eating always whenever he eats he gives sound and food on the floor on the floor lot of food is there so the husband and wife set a small table in the corner okay for grandfather separate table don't sit with us their grandfather ate alone while the rest of the family enjoyed dinner at the dinner table so father uh, the boy the son daughter in law and the grandson all are sitting and enjoying their food since grandfather had broken a dish or two dish means what the food uh, items you know the utensils uh, his food was served in a wooden bowl because he broke the dishes so he was given wooden bowl sometimes when the family glanced in grandfather's direction he had a tear in his eyes as he ate alone so when he ate alone he was alone he was eating when the family saw him tears was there in his eyes because he brought up his son he made him educated he gave his son he spent all his money he brought him a house he got him married and finally he was uh, left alone sitting and eating the dinner so still the only words the couple had for him were sharp and admonitions always speaking ill about the grandfather father in law always scolding so when he dropped a fork or spilled food whenever the grandfather you know dropped a fork or food already they were in all type of problems right you know business and all the type of things they are showing all their negative emotions on their old man on the old man the floor four year old watched it all in silence the son four year old child watched all this in silence 
what did he do one evening before supper one evening before supper means what before the dinner the father noticed his son playing with wood scraps wood scraps means what the boy was playing with wood scraps on the floor he asked the child sweetly what are you making my dear child just as sweetly the child responded the boy responded oh i am making the bowl for you and mama to eat so the child told okay you have given grandfather a separate place he is your father so you are my father so for you i am making separate bowl wooden bowl so that in old age if you come to my house you shouldn't spill the food so i'm preparing it now the four year old smiled and went back to work right so what happened the word so struck the parents father and mother it struck them so badly that they were speechless then tears started to stream down their cheeks uh, though no word was spoken both knew that uh, uh, what must be done so now they thought okay what should we do that evening the husband took grandfather's hand and quite gently led him back to the family table so that evening they took the grandfather slowly got his hand and brought him to the family table for the remainder of his days he ate every meal with the family so all the days with the family he had his dinner and for some reason neither husband and no wife seemed to care any longer when a fork was dropped so from that time on whether fork was dropped food was dropped they were not bothered milk spilled or the tablecloth soiled they were not bothered now they understood the truth if we treat our parents like that then future my son is going to treat me like that so i don't want to set a bad example for my son when i keep shouting my at my father in return he is going to shout at me so l- children are remarkably perceptive what do you mean by perceptive perception they are able to look and take what it is right they can feel and put inside whatever they see their eyes ever observe the eyes of children always observing what parents are doing what teacher is doing what others are doing they are observing the eyes of the children are observing their ears the children's ears ever listen the, the ears are always listening what others are saying and their minds ever process the messages they observe so whatever the message they get the mind is observing and they are interpreting if they see as patiently provide a happy home atmosphere for family members they will imitate that attitude for the rest of their lives right in the ha- family in the house if you have a happy atmosphere the child when it is going outside it will reflect the happy beautiful moments uh, to outside world right inside the family father and mother fighting father is drinking mother is shouting mother is throwing the cups and uh, you know this and that uh, neighbors all these type of things are happening the child when it goes out what it will reflect <coughs> it will reflect all what it has seen all what it has uh, heard all what it has felt and b- becomes a bad for the society right so inside the home if you give lovely moments for the children they will exhibit whatever they feel and whatever they have listened and whatever they have witnessed the wise parent realizes that every day that building blocks are being laid for the child's future daily daily every day a brick is laid building is built in the child's heart in the child's mind so the child looks at their parents and tries to imitate their parents tries to imitate their parents so daily is a building constructed in the heart and the mind of the children let us all be wise builders and role models so we should be the builders we should be the role models for the children right i have to live my like my father my father is an example for me my father is a role model for me my mother is a heroine for me so we should set examples for them take care of yourself you take care of yourself and those you love today and every day though take care of yourself love the persons today and every day especially your parents as they are the most precious gifts parents are the most precious gift for you able to understand sir so how do we treat our elders so 
according to how we treat our children will treat us so simple let us start with this uh, yes uh, please come forward and tell me what you are able to understand yes sir uh, please please come Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is actually really uh, touching one because of uh, it's day-to-day -day life. What we are looking that so that the things actually. So, so what I am uh, what I want to say here is uh, there's a life. Uh, so I, I want to take the cinema industries. Okay. So compared to uh, North India and South India. So if you see uh, North India film industries, uh, they are, they will give more respect to the parents in all the scenes actually. Even they, in the comedy scenes also, they won't uh, you know they um, they won't uh, they won't tell anything in against the parents actually. They will give more respect. I hope you will you will accept this one. But if you see South India, there are a lot of comedy they do based on their parents. Even you know if their parents are very old age. So that is all are really bad actually. So so they give clear example. So no, the four year child is no, they are doing the same thing. What she is looking. So cinema is very important and part of life because uh, for South India five to six years uh, CMS became because of cinema. So we cannot no we cannot no engage that kind of joke where their parents are they are treating very bad. So that is one thing I want to tell here. Good good wonderful wonderful. And the. Uh, the Terry is the movie, I think, they are talking about the concept of this only, the final scene will come like, so we have to, uh, balance is very important, if if you are treated well for your son, he will be very good actually, so if you are doing very bad thing, so the son also do the bad thing. Are you married? Yeah. I have do you have a child? Yeah, beautiful one year daughter. One year daughter, <laughs> oh, good, 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 please take, please come sir. Let us start the question with, are you married? No, I am single. You don't have any children? No. Okay, <laughs> start. Um, the story of a wooden bowl explains that we should respect our parents because uh, our parents are the most precious gift. Whatever, you, uh, whatever the parents, the father or mother do, the child will uh, reflect the same thing in the future. So, if a parents are bad, like uh, drinking or shouting, means the child will do the same reflection in the future. But if the parents are good, like uh, living a long, happy life and be behaving uh, smoothly, means the child will do the same thing. So, uh, like a way, sh should not the should not uh, kept let alone uh, grandfather or grandmother. So, should be kept uh, kept uh, with the. Uh, Alone should not be kept alone, so um, sh should behave. Uh, should be uh, should behave uh, your grand uh, father and mother properly. So should not. Uh, so the child sh sh should will be reflected same as to you. So we should be behave our parents or parents or precious in future. Yes, please come forward. Yes, female said, be ready, Miss Aisha, uh, Aisha, Liza. Good afternoon. Speech. Um, it's a real story because uh, in many ones say uh, this, uh, this has been happening. Uh, mainly the grandfathers because the, nowadays the younger children are uh, adults are not uh, giving respect to their grandchild because of may, because of parents, but. Uh, I, but I don't know mostly because uh, but they repeated because of their parents only so give respect to the grandfather and treat like uh, the way of living of your of you of you live because if you do care means they become more sensitive and they and they become a uh, uh, why should I live for that and they if you don't care or if you don't uh, uh, respect to the grandfather the same will be they they will be a guilty feeling uh, what should i live why should i live so uh, the family is expanded because of your what you te uh, teach to the kids if you teach them to unite the family the family will be united as long as you you teach if you teach the kid uh, family is like a, a pa family is like a passing cloud the family it will not be united uh, it has been uh, depends on the parents the way of the teach the children. Thank you. 
Thank you. Yes. Uh, dear friends, welcome to AS American English. In the video number 49, I will tell you that the people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. அது பெட்ரோல் வளர்ப்பில் இருக்கிறது வீடு தான் முதல் பள்ளி இரண்டாவது பள்ளி பள்ளி கூடம் மூன்றாவது பள்ளி உன்னுடைய கோயில் சோ மூன்று இடங்களிலே குழந்தை படிக்கிறது ஒன்று வீட்டிலே ஒன்று பள்ளி கூடத்திலே ஒன்று கோயில்களிலே சோ இந்த மூன்று இடங்கள் மிக முக்கியமான இடம் வீட்டிலே அந்த குழந்தையினுடைய ஆரம்ப கால பவுண்டேஷன் அடிப்படையான குணாதிசயங்களை வளர்க்கக்கூடியது வீடு அந்த வீட்டிலே அன்பும் பாசமும் நேசமும் இருக்கிற பொழுது அந்த குழந்தை அதை பிரதிபலிக்கிறது ஒருவன் கெட்டவனாக ஆகிறான் என்றால் அந்த வீட்டிலே நிம்மதி இல்லை மகிழ்ச்சி இல்லை தாயும் தந்தையும் சதா சண்டையிட்டு கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் தந்தையார் டாஸ்மாக்கினுடைய நிரந்தர உறுப்பினராக இருக்கிறார் அன்னை எப்பொழுதும் சண்டையிட்டு கொண்டிருக்கிற நேரத்திலே அங்கே குடும்பத்திலே சண்டையும் சச்சரவும் இருக்கிறது ஸோ இங்கே இந்த கதையின்படி ஒரு வயதானவர் தன்னுடைய பேரன் பேத்தியுடன் தன்னுடைய மகனுடன் சேர்ந்து வாழ வருகிறார் மருமகளுடன் சேர்ந்து வாழ வருகிறார் ஒன்றாக அமர்ந்து இரவிலே உணவு அருந்துகிறார்கள் இவருடைய கை தளர்ச்சியாக இருக்கிறது நடுங்குகிறது உணவை வாய் கொண்டு செல்கிற பொழுது அது கீழே சிந்து விடுகிறது பாலை குடிக்க எடுக்கிற பொழுது பால் சிந்து விடுகிறது அங்கே இருக்கவர்களுடைய டேபிள் அசுத்தமாகிறது சாப்பிடும் பொழுது இவரினால் சத்தமிட்டு சாப்பிட கூடிய நிலைமையில் இருக்கிறார் இதை பார்த்து அந்த மகன் என்ன செய்கிறான் தந்தையாரை அழைத்து பக்கத்திலே ஒரு தனியாக ஒரு உணவு அருந்தக்கூடிய இடத்திலே கொண்டு போய் விட்டு விடுகிறான் அவருக்கு அங்கே தனியாக உணவு பராமரிக்கப்படுகிறது அவருக்கு மரத்தால் செய்யப்பட்ட கிண்ணங்கள் கொடுக்கப்படுகிறது ஏனென்றால் கிண்ணங்கள் கீழே தவறிவிட்டு அது உடைந்து விடுகிற காரணத்தினாலே ஒரு நாள் தந்தையார் அந்த பெரியவர் அப்படி நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது எப்பொழுதாவது அந்த பெரியவரை பார்க்கிற பொழுது அவர்களுடைய கண்ணில் இருந்து கண்ணீர் வளைந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது ஒரு நாள் அந்த மகன் அந்த வழியாக செல்கிற பொழுது தன்னுடைய மகன் பேரக்குழந்தை அந்த பையன் அவன் ஒரு மரத்தால் ஆன கிண்ணத்தை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறான் எதற்காக நீ செய்கிறாய் என்று கேட்கிற பொழுது நீங்கள் எப்படி உங்கள் தந்தையாரை மரத்தால் செய்த கிண்ணத்திலே உணவு பரிமாறிக்கொண்டு கொடுக்கிறீர்களோ அதை போன்று நாளைக்கு நீங்கள் நான் பெரியவனானவுடன் உங்களுக்கு கொடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த மரத்தால் ஆன ஜாமான்களை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் என்று சொல்கிறான் ஸோ இதை பார்த்து அந்த பெற்றோர்கள் தங்களுடைய தவறை உணர்ந்து அந்த முதியவரை அழைத்து தங்களுடன் இணைத்து சாப்பிடு சாப்பாடை பரிமாறுகிறார்கள் ஸோ இந்த கதையினுடைய தத்துவம் என்ன என்று பார்க்கிற பொழுது நீங்கள் எல்லாம் எதிர்காலத்திலே குழந்தைகளுக்கு தாய் தந்தையாராக போகக்கூடிய இளைஞர்கள் நாளைக்கு நீங்கள் ஒரு உதாரண புருஷராக ஆக வேண்டும் ஒரு குழந்தைக்கு நீங்கள் கதாநாயகனாக ஆக வேண்டும் நீங்கள் மது அருந்துவதோ சிகரெட் குடிப்பதோ சண்டையிடுவதோ சதா காலம் திட்டிக்கொண்டிருப்பதோ இதை பார்க்கிற குழந்தைகள் அதனுடைய மறு ரூபமாக மாறிவிடுகிறார்கள் குழந்தைகளுடைய அம்சமே அவர்கள் மனதிலே எது பதிகிறதோ அதுவாக மாறிவிடுகிறார்கள் சிறைச்சாலையில் இருக்கக்கூடிய ஆயிரக்கணக்கான கைதிகள் இவர்களுடைய பெற்றோர்கள் அன்பும் பாசமும் இல்லாதவர்களாக இருக்கிற காரணத்தினாலே அந்த குழந்தைகள் அதுவாக மாறிவிடுகிறது போதை கடுமையாகி விடுகிறார்கள் ஸோ தயவு செய்து உங்களுடைய மேன்மையான பழக்க வழக்கங்களை உங்கள் உங்களுடைய குழந்தைகளுக்கு காண்பியுங்கள் அவர்களை சிறந்த பிரச்சைகளாக உருவாக்குங்கள் தேங்க்யூ வெரி மச்